What's up bros and welcome. Now today I'm going to be showing you bros 10 Lego Ninjago ninja weapons that I've made because why not. So first we have Lloyd right here. It's a simple little Lloyd custom that I made for this video. Nothing too special but that's not important. So first we're going to be making a weapon for Lloyd. So first we're going to take this golden bar piece. We're going to attach this golden piece and we're going to attach another one on the opposite side. Then we're going to take these green blade pieces which are supposed to be jade blades from Ninjago Legacy but these do not look like jade blades man so we're going to put one on each side and then for the last piece we're going to take these golden studs with holes in them and attach one on each side on the back of the hilt of the blades and then we have the completed weapon. Now, if you're an OG, you'll know what this weapon is. It's based off of the Lloyd ZX Spinner. In that set, basically, Lloyd had this very unique and cool looking weapon, and I thought I would remake that in like a different design, and I gotta say, it looks pretty nice, and it does kind of fit Lloyd, so yeah, that's basically it for the first weapon. Now for the second weapon in today's video, we have another weapon for Lloyd, so of course we're also going to take another one of these golden bar pieces, we're going to take this golden lightsaber hilt, and then for the last piece we're going to take this green katana piece, and then we have the completed weapon which is supposed to be like a long spear sword katana weapon, very simple, doesn't need an explanation, so yeah that's basically it for Lloyd's weapons in today's video. Now next up we have Nia, so I only made her one weapon so let's get down to business. So first we're going to take this lightsaber hilt piece, we're going to take this other lightsaber hilt piece and attach those like that. Then we're going to take this light gray stud with a hole in it and attach it right there and then for the last piece we're going to take this sigh. And then we have the completed weapon so this is like a custom little spear that I decided to make for Nia and as you can see here the bottom part does kind of have a tendency to come off it's easy to pop off but it still does look like a pretty nice weapon for Nia so I still think it's not bad. Now next up it's time for Jay's weapon so I just decided to make like two nunchucks so let's get down to building so first we have this golden nunchucks piece and Instead of adding like a chain or something like that, I'm going to be taking these trans clear minifigure stand display pieces. Well, I'm only going to be using two, and to connect them, we have this other clear piece. We can attach that to one side, we can attach another one of these clear pieces to the other side, and then we can attach this nunchuck handle piece, and then we have the completed nunchuck build. Now this nunchuck build is meant to be like a display piece to show that the nunchucks are being used or they're frozen in time or they're flying mid-air because if you have a chain the nunchucks just kind of flop around and they fall on the ground and stuff like that but with this it's kind of just like locked in place which is good for like a display piece but one issue with this is the fact that a minifigure or more specifically Jay can't really hold both of the handles at the same time as you can see here because the build is a bit too long so he kind of just has to hold on to one side while the other side is flying in midair as you can see here so another thing is that I would have preferred if these pieces were in gold for this custom weapon but they're in trans clear so I guess that kind of fits the original golden weapon nunchucks of lightning where there was just like two handle pieces and they were connected by lightning or something so I guess the nunchucks kind of work so yeah that's basically it for the fourth weapon. Now for the fifth weapon in today's video we have another nunchucks built for Jay. This time we're going to take this golden piece and we're finally going to be using the chain piece as you can see here for one of Jay's nunchucks and attach one of these to the other side and then we have the completed nunchucks build. Now this is just a very simple nunchucks build. The idea is basically using this piece right here as the handle is much slimmer and smaller compared to a 
lightsaber hilt piece, which is what's usually used for Jay's nunchucks of lightning. So this is definitely a smaller alternative, as you can see here. So yeah, it does get the job done, but that's basically it for the fifth weapon. Now for the sixth weapon in today's video, it's for Zane. So first of all, a disclaimer, this weapon only fits with a minifigure that has a bag attachment piece. So it's not compatible with a minifigure with like a different armor piece or just like no armor piece at all. So keep that in mind if you're going to be building this weapon. So once you have your minifigure with a bag attachment piece attached, we can get down to business. So first we're going to take this light gray shuriken piece. Now this piece is special because it has this extra back attachment piece. Now not every shuriken has this, like the trans clear ones from possession, the aeroblades, those don't have this. So you need a specific version of the shuriken piece. Now of course we're just going to attach the usual shuriken accessories which is just like the middle piece and then a bunch of these fang pieces so that way this does actually look like a shuriken or like a ninja star just like a very huge and gigantic one but then we have the completed shuriken as you can see here it's literally just like an arrow blade except it's in light gray and why did i use this piece to make the arrow blade well that's because it has the extra mold on the back so that way this shuriken can be attached to the back of a lego minifigure as you can see here you can use any armor that has the extra stud top as you can see here that way you can attach the shuriken to the back of the minifigure just like that now for the seventh weapon in today's video we're going to be making a scythe for coal now i'm going to be making a hammer for the eighth weapon so you can skip to that if you want but for the scythe first we're going to take this long black piece we're going to attach this other black piece right there and then we're going to take this black blade piece pop that on right there and then we have the completed scythe it's a very simple design that i came up with years ago because well i don't have the original scythe of quakes weapon so this is like my alternative that i made a while back so yeah that's just a very simple scythe that does fit Cole, as you can see here. Now for the eighth weapon, we of course have a hammer for coal. So first we're going to take this dark silver lightsaber hilt piece. We're going to take this black piece and attach it to the lightsaber hilt like that. Then we're going to take this dark gray piece, a technic piece I believe, and attach it onto the black piece like that. Then for the most important part, we're going to take this Lord of the Rings hammer piece, although you can just use like any hammer if you want. You can slide that into the hole like that. Then we're going to take this black stud with hole in it and attach it to the other side to cover that up and then to finish off this hammer. Then to finish off this hammer, we're going to attach this black piece to the alternate side. And then we have the completed hammer build. It's very beefy and bulky however it's not too long and it does get the job done so yeah that's basically it for the eighth weapon now for the ninth weapon we just have a grappling hook for Aaron. it's very simple we're gonna take this dark gray pistol piece then we're gonna take this yellow sud with a hole in it and attach it to the front of the pistol then we have this orange yellow piece and attach it right there and then we have the completed grappling hook or a grappling gun for Aaron. very simple build but it does get the job done so yeah that's it for the ninth weapon or accessory now for kai's weapon i wasn't originally going to make a weapon for him but i kind of felt bad so i tried to come up with something so first we're going to take this golden piece then we're going to take two golden studs with holes in them, attach them together, attach it to the golden stick, and then we're going to take this red blade piece. We can attach that right there. Then we have the completed weapon for Kai, which is like a, 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 a weapon or a, a katana or a blade with a long handle. It's, 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 it's really weird. I don't have an explanation, so 
that's basically it for the 10th weapon. But anyway, that's basically it for this very simple video. Basically, I made 10 different weapons for the ninja and I thought they would be interesting for a fun little project or video, so yeah. Tell me in the comments below if you want to see more weapons tutorials like this, so feel free to check out my other videos I mostly make custom minifigures. Have a great day. See ya bros.